America can be described in just one phrase. Everything needs to be fast, otherwise the consequences are furious. Therefore, America wants a president right after the election. Why is it taking so long to find out who our next president is? Even we were getting ready for a big celebration. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We, we were winning everything, and all of a sudden it was just called off. There's a reason why America wants everything quick. America had no time for a long drawn immigration process, so it was discovered really fast and in a furious way. The first known case of illegal immigration. And that set the tone for America. And I want it now. America had no time for a hiring process, so it sent ships to Africa to meet the labor needs of its plantations. America had no time to negotiate, so they kicked out the British. America had no time to speak slowly like the British, so got a faster twang. America has no time for soccer, so it has football, which has no time for single points like soccer, so one touchdown is seven points. One shot in basketball is two points, if not three. Even a point in tennis jumps straight to 15, then 30, and not without some love. 15 love. And finally, to get a president quickly, I ain't counting 165 million votes, just 538 men. Granted, the TV networks need to be on air, same way all over the world, but they merely report official tallies, to which the US says, boring. So, in order to be fast and furious. The Fox News decision desk is calling Arizona for Joe Biden. Imagine if Pravda pulled such a journalistic scoop Pravda would like to call the whole of Russia for Vladimir Putin, with 99% of votes in his favor. I mean 199% votes in favor of Comrade Putin. That includes from Chechnya with love. America, it takes time to count votes. And there are a lot of votes, 165 million votes. And why the second-rate citizen treatment to mail-in voters who were merely adhering to social distancing? And the overseas absentee voters, a good chunk of whom are military personnel. First in harm's way, last in voting. America needs to watch test cricket. Play cricket, drink lemonade. Play cricket, have lunch. Play cricket, have tea. Play cricket, sleep. Play cricket, zen. After five days of playing cricket, you could actually have a draw. And then, okay, only then you can go to the Supreme Court. Now why? Everybody is glued to the news. That's billions of dollars of loss in productivity. Even the President of the United States is just doing nothing but watching TV all day. If he had a boss, he'd tell him. You're fired. The president still has to work at that job for another three months or another four years and three months. No! What if North Korea fires a missile at Los Angeles today? Get to work. Let those guys count to the last vote, whether cast in person, by mail-in, or as absentee voters. Simple as that. You don't let CNN announce your SAT score. You don't let Hustler magazine say, And the Oscar goes to... When you deposit cash at a bank, you wait for the teller to correctly count the cash. Once, twice, doesn't matter how many times, till he gets it right. Otherwise, you could have dimple chats and hanging chats. You could have GW Bush, WMD, Iraq, and ISIS. You don't want that to happen again, or worse. America, you are the land of opportunities. Don't make it the land of possibilities, where, oh, anything is possible.